So hey, um, again, I promised I'd bring you guys the active version of the Jabra 75Ts, and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, essentially, there's not, I don't know how to do this review because a lot of it's the same. Like, I can tell you about the same battery life, um, improved uh, waterproofing, and things like that. Um, but really, this is gonna follow along the same lines of what's the non-actives handle in terms of specs and you know look and feel all the same sort of stuff that we encountered in my last review so i'm going to link that review to the not the non-actives up above and then in terms of all of the specifications for this one that's of note i will do a really quick 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 quick, quick montage to show you guys all the new stuff um, that is specific to this uh, Jabra 75T active version. And when I was playing around with this, it behaved much similarly to the non-actives. Again, the case is a little bit different in the sense that it does have that sort of rubbery feel to it. The thing that I liked from the 65T active that I had. Again, it is a little bit more scratch prone, but it does feel better in the hand. And it does now have that on the actual earphone itself. So the, the earbuds do feel more secure from my feel at least. Um, when actually playing around with it, it had no bearing to it actually uh, being a more secure fit. I was able to do some runs with it. I was able to move my head around a lot. I was able to fall asleep and the earbuds not falling out. Much similar to, as it was for the non-actives. So the grip is sort of a psychosomatic, more secure fit, but they fit and they, they stayed in the same amount as the non-actives. So something I did miss is that the fit is pretty, pretty solid. And again, the grip does at least perceived help with the fit, but the ear tips are actually made of slightly different materials. I don't exactly know how to describe it, but the 75T normals do have like a clear sort of silicon use, um, while the actives have a more solid one. And they do seem a little bit different. In cold weather, the 75T elites were perfect they kind of they fit in very nicely and very snugly and those ear tips never really were an issue but i did notice that for the actives in cold weather they hardened up to a little bit more and i think that's the reason why sometimes they're they never really slipped out but they did feel a bit looser in cold weather so that's just something to think about when you're thinking about like how you're using these headphones but yeah if you look at the tips they're slightly different materials and you're gonna get a different fit as a result the thing that we will be going over now is what I think is the biggest thing that I've noticed about this and it's the connectivity so as you have may have watched in my previous review the Non-actives have this really weird issue of just over connecting or like connecting all the time Even when I was using another pair of headphones or if I just was using the speaker on my phone It would connect to it even if it was in its case and it would play music and I wouldn't know why My phone wasn't playing music anymore or I thought my headphones my over ear headphones were broken Wasn't the case if you guys need to see <laughs> my qualms with that definitely watch my other review but for the the 75t actives these ones just didn't connect uh when they were charging which was good they actually charged um i never had an issue with them being uncharged in the morning because they were on all, all nights um they respected the fact they were on their case even though they don't have any additional housing to make sure that they do stay in place. So I was able to throw this in my bag, I was able to have it upside down, I was able to have a charge, and it didn't ever connect when my earbuds were inside its case. So that was a nice update for me at least because that was the biggest gripe that I had 
on the previous generations. So again, something I missed is that rubber coating on the actives. I have a hypothesis that that is the reason why they actually are more secure inside their settings. Again, with the 75T normals, they're just smooth, so they don't have this coating, and that might be the reason why they get kind of misplaced inside the case. For the actives, that additional grip might be the reason why, even though they don't have the moldings on the lid, they still stick inside the case a little bit better, and you don't get those misconnections. Again, that's just a hypothesis. But other, another thing in regards to connection, which is something that I forgot to mention in my previous review, is that while you can do multi-connections for devices, Jabber actually doesn't recommend it in terms of multi-use. So like you can connect a bunch of different devices and it'll you know remember them and you can connect between them. But I looked on their website and they actually don't recommend you connect it to your computer. And again, if I'm gonna use these as like as a power user, you know, use them for conferences, use them for music, use them for workouts, I'm expecting to be able to use them all over the place. But it's really, really strange that they're saying that I can't or shouldn't use them for the, the computer because they can't guarantee quality, they can't guarantee connectivity. It is something that I did realize was a little bit of a problem when I was using them um, in, in a power sense. When I was going between computer and phone, it wasn't as seamless as the 65Ts, which is really, really strange to me because this is using Bluetooth 5. And you should be able to multi-connect pretty seamlessly between devices, computer being one of them. Um, so there is, while you can do a connection between the two of them and, you know, as they are used individually, they work pretty good. Like I, had, I didn't really have any qualms, but it was getting confused when I was getting between like a Microsoft Teams meeting or a phone call. They just didn't know which one to connect to first. And sometimes you would get instances where it was connected to the wrong device. So maybe that's the reason why they just haven't figured out how to do 5.0 Bluetooth well. I know that there's other versions of uh, 5.0 or 5.2 Bluetooth that's coming out. Um, for example, with the Audio Technicas, the True Wireless, they have newer technology for the, the Bluetooth that might be able to handle it better. But I'm just very, very surprised that Jabra, I mean, with that whole like conferencing and microphone background, doesn't have more seamless connectivity or, and don't recommend using it with a computer. It's just strange. And then it really comes down to sound. So obviously the bass boosted nature is something that they continued along with the actives. It's something that they thought that their customers would get a benefit out of and it's something they've been asking for. But these um, have actually, they're slightly different. It's weird to say. I was expecting the exact same sound signature. I was like, this is gonna be super stupid, uh, short review. What am I gonna tell people about these headphones? So I actually did a 10 song review, kind of going over all of the different um, things I noticed while listening. And there is a slight difference. So I think it's worthwhile for you to check out. I'm not making you guys sit through 10 minutes of music, or sorry, whatever, like 50 minutes of music or whatever. But I do check 10 songs. I take, I do a check-in after, after the song and told, tell you how they feel. Um, and how they sounded like. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. Um, all of the recordings that I'm going to be using for this test, I will be at using. I'll be at 70% volume, and I will be using the neutral, or the default setting on the Sound Plus app. So no bass boost, no crazy curve uh, to make it sound a certain way. Both will be at 70%, and both versions of the 75Ts will be leveraging the standard flat signature, flat signature um, out of the Sound Plus app. So I hope you guys enjoy this and we'll come back when I finish uh, the review of that. So we're starting off with the Jabras, the regular ones. Uh, and the first song is gonna be Terramatic. It's just gonna be mostly uh, Spanish guitars, Rodrigo y Gabriela, really good band. Um, it will kind of emphasize to see if anything gets drowned out. So I think it's a good way to start. So I'm gonna get into it. So overall, they sounded pretty similar. They, they definitely both sounded very solid. 
and nothing stuck out too much. I would say that maybe the actives were a little bit more smooth and definitely a little slightly more warm for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why that might be. Um, I'll have to listen a little bit more, but yeah, there was just a little bit more smooth with the guitar picking. Um, there are times with the uh, regulars that they kind of got a little harsh, but not too much where it really distracted, but it was just definitely noticeable when listening to them side by side. So that's uh, something to know on the first song. Next song, Good News by Mac Miller. Um, so definitely a switch in pace. Um, they do start off a really strong bass line. Um, there are some guitar um, strums as well, so maybe a good transition, but um, it should be a little bit more chill vibe, but there will be certain instrumentals I'll be looking for to see how um, each of them perform. Um, I can kind of tell you already that um, there are gonna be some instrumentals that I'm gonna be keen in for just to see if they hit too strong. <laughs> Uh, so, but we'll we'll see. We'll be back. All right, this is Mono Thirteen for reference. So there wasn't really much difference on that song. Uh, this both of them performed pretty well. Again, it's a really chill song. Um, I was expecting actually the bass to sort of drown out some of his voice vocals, but it didn't. Um, so I think that was pretty solid. Um, Again, the actives and the non-actives worked really well for this song and it didn't really get me outside of the groove uh, or the vibe of the song. So again, both of them solid. So nothing new for that one. On to the next song, which will be More by Lawrence. Um, so this song is by a, a duo from New York. Um, they're super solid. Um, I've heard them a few times live and they kill it. Um, the things that I'm going to be noting here are the vocals, obviously. They have very, very strong voices. And then they also have um, a lot of use of horns and keys in the song. So I want to see if anything's going to get drowned out. I'm a little worried that there might be some harshness on the horns um, just because it starts off super strong. Um, but I'll keep you updated. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that one definitely had a difference. The Jabra Elite uh, actives perform significantly better with Lawrence vocals. Um, the act, the regular ones, the non-actives, I don't know, the bass kind of just got really, really muddy at certain points and there were times where there were, uh, there's a little bit of a bass run and it just sounded super gross. Like it just was not very defined. You couldn't hear the notes and it got kind of muddy together, especially as they were introducing other uh, instruments and different vocals. Um, so yeah, that's something that was super noticeable. And then once the high horns came in too, um, sometimes like the vocalists, uh, falsettos would just get completely drowned out and then, it, then, it, then those were where it would get really harsh. So yeah, it's pretty obvious that for me at least that the actives perform better with that song. So the first song where it was, you know, leaps and bounds better for one over the other was this song. So uh, that's gonna be hopefully how the rest of these songs go and it'll be easier to differentiate. But uh, next song is Say So by PJ Morton and uh, featuring Jojo. Uh, I like this song a lot. Um, I think it won a, I think it won a Grammy, but uh, it will be very vocal heavy, obviously. Um, but it will sort of check more powerful vocals because these, both these people have very, very, very strong vocals. Um, but they're also vibing off each other, so we'll see if they the mixing of the song um, has anything to do um, with how these sound. But uh, next song. Okay, for sure that one, there was a difference as well. Um, the chorus was very, very controlled. So there is a use of a bass um, and some bass synths and it's pretty controlled throughout. But I think if you really wanna see what I'm gonna talk about next, the transition from the first uh, chorus into Jojo's part um, You'll kind of see it just start getting really 
uncontrolled or very wobbly. Um, and that's for the non-actives, for sure. And for some reason, this one, the, this, the actives were very, very sweet throughout. Um, and I didn't really have this issue, but for the non-actives, it got really wobbly with that bass synth. So if you watch, if you listen to the chorus of the first part of the song, and then it goes into the Jojo portion, when she says like, the same way that I feel towards like the very, very end of her chorus, or her, her verse, you'll see that that bass synth gets super wobbly, and it just feels like it gets at, unwieldy almost. Um, and then as I started listening through the song more, PJ's part comes through, and for the non-actives, I just felt like the, the, the duo was battling for supremacy against the bass, um, just to be heard. And then when I swapped over to the actives, it was more of a cohesive song. There was less of that battle struggle. Um, and they were just singing with power instead of trying to win a battle. So yes, the actives sounded much better on that one. So. Again, another one that is a clear winner. Um, next song is Canada by uh, Love and uh, Alessia Cara. Uh, this will also be pretty uh, interesting. Um, there are some strong bass chords here and that's the reason why I picked that song. But uh, yeah, on to the next one for analysis. Um, so for that one, uh, it starts off with uh, Love just singing with just believable strings and for some reason i started off with with these these uh, non-active ones and i was just struggling because i was really hoping that they would just bring in the bass sooner because for some reason it was coming off very very harsh with his voice and that was actually pretty consistent even with the actives uh, the actives just did bring it in a little bit softer i think this is the first time where i kind of really established that the trend of the actives are coming in at a better volume level than the uh, the the regular 75Ts. 75Ts are coming in very much louder at the same volume level, um, but it also leads to things hitting kind of harsh. Um, as we go and move into like the bass tones of this, um, when it went to Alessia's part, um, the, the bass punched really hard on the regulars, um, almost just so that it drowned her out. And then as we got into the parts where they're leveraging bass with the duo, that's when the, the bass wobbles and the uncontrolled nature of the 75 regulars kind of came through. Um, that same punch was still there for the actives and, and I, I still thought that it did sort of punch out her voice a little bit. It was just lesser to an extent and there was less of that bass wobble. Um, that happened with the actives, so it felt like a little bit more controlled. Um, so that was the biggest thing. But overall, I don't think either of them performed really well with this song. Um, so I can't really say that with a clear winner, but the actives were just a little bit more pleasant to the ear, just going through it. So next song is going to be Navajo by uh, Masego. Um, so there's gonna be some uh, there's gonna be some snares and and rim shots on this one that will sort of test some portions of this, but it's it's a pretty chill song. So I'm guessing this is gonna probably be more like the Mac Miller, but we'll see. Both sound good, not gonna lie. So there's not much to say for that one. Um, song still a vibe. Either headphones, so. Simple for that one. Uh, the next one is Electric Guest, uh, Oh Devil. It kind of has a has this more dancey feel to it. So uh, let's go. So yeah, like that song, pretty much equal for throughout. There were some parts where uh, the bass did punch out um, his voice a bit, um, and again consistent with this one, uh, with the non-actives. Um, they did punch out the voice a little bit more. I mean, still vibe. It's still super fun to dance to um, despite that. But that's because, you know, you're not being super analytical on that portion. But again, the actives seem to just handle it a little bit better, a little bit more sweeter. Um, and just, you know, 
switch the more and more I'm playing around with these different songs I'm noticing that um, yeah the the actives are just performing a lot better throughout the genres they're not blasting out my ears and yeah so how many more songs we got on this dun 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 three more yep uh, next one is Iron by Woodkid. Haven't heard this song in a while. But if you're an Assassin's Creed person, you'll know what I'm talking about. So Woodkid, maybe because his voice is kind of lower than some of the people that we've been listening to so far. But um, yeah, like it, it didn't really do that much to his voice in terms of like, you know, make him battle for it. But uh, it was more about the horns. The horns did come off a little bit harsh uh, again on the 75T regulars. And I don't get why they should be that way because they're the same headphone with just slightly different specs. Um, but maybe they did tweak the um, sound a little bit during updates or whatever, but I can definitely tell a difference. But uh, Woodkid's voice was a little bit more consistent and that might just be because his voice is a little bit more grounded and a little bit um deeper so that was actually pretty pleasant overall again once the warrants came in sometimes i had to turn down the volume on the uh, 75 regulars um again 75 t actives pretty sweet regardless um so next song is i think she's a dub by devon terrell um i picked this one i forgot why but that's the next one now I remember why I picked that song. <laughs> There's a F ton of bass on it, and I wanted to see if it would control. It controls on neither. Um, his voice is definitely higher, and <laughs> there's just so many, there's levels of bass in this song, where it's just, it, it's just boop, 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 and then midway through the song, they just add this whole very long drawn just brah, like there's just so many levels of bass in this song and that's why i want to test it on these ones because again even if you treble bass it which uh treble boost it which i'm not doing for this one it's just too much um it, it drowns his, vo his voice out completely um and it just sounds super uncontrolled on both headphones again the actives do a little bit better job about handling it but Wolf on that song with that, that's, yeah, other headphones for that song for sure, just in general. Neither of these guys really hold up with that one. So, <laughs> final song is um, Games by Kamau. Ooh, Ooh Kamau. He has too many letters. But final song, we'll wrap up with that one. It's a little bit more of a fun song. Um, so, let's go. Okay, uh, much less similar to everything else we've been going over. Uh, his voice is higher, it comes a little bit harsh off on the non-actives, um, and the bass is a little bit unwieldy. Not unwieldy, but uncontrolled. Get some wobbles in there. And as, as, as usual, these come in a little bit sweeter. Um, so the actives come a little bit sweeter, a little bit more rounded, and less harsh. So there's been a definite trend with how we analyze this whole active versus non-active. Again, their sound signatures do have similar characteristics, but they're not exactly the same. And that just really comes down to one is just a little bit rounder in terms of can handle different genres a little bit better. These definitely come in louder for sure, but that may not be a good thing for it, especially because again, vocals can come in kind of harsh and the wobbly bass is not a great thing. This just handles it slightly better. Uh, if I look through my notes through the 10 songs that we just went through, I feel for the non-actives, the any vocalist is pretty much struggling to fight against the bass. And when you remove that bass, they just become harsh as a result. So overall, the the tones just come off kind of pretty, kind of bad for the, the actives. And I guess I'd never really realized it when I was trying it initially because I wasn't comparing it to something else. 
except for the crappy micropods or not micropods what were those called i don't know i broke them in half though but they were worse um so oh tick pods tick pods yes so um yeah i mean these sounded okay before but when listening next to the actives the actives just handle different genres and, and different uses of instruments a, li a little bit better so they do have similar you know bass um this bass is a little bit more controlled but still you know i've heard better ear phones or earbuds with a little bit more control so they they do still suffer from some sort of uh, bass overhaul um, I think it's something that they could still improve with firmware, but yeah, like they definitely perform significantly better across different genres than the non-actives. Um, so what I would say is if you could try them both, do so, and then return the one you don't like. But if you need something just out of the gate and you're pretty set on the Jabras, go with the actives. I know these ones look really, really, really pretty. I mean, that's the main reason why I kept them around for now. Um, but the, the actives, while more muted, um, and you know, they're still pretty attractive, but these just sound better. And I think it's safer to bet to go with these ones because through the 10 songs I listened to, this one had the least amount of gripes. Again, they're both going to have some issues with kind of drowning out, uh, the vocals, but this one will just sound a little bit sweeter to the ear and it won't cause harshness to you when you're switching between the different music that you like. So safer bet with the actives. So I hope that sound review sort of is a little bit insightful there. It was something that I just didn't expect. I thought they were going to be the exact same headphones with different materials, but there is a pretty noticeable difference with the actives being a little bit more well-rounded and be able to handle the bass. Um, across genres a little bit better again you for both of them you're gonna have a boosted signature and that's just a design decision from the product team and it just comes with the territory for these uh, generation Jabras maybe something that they can change with the firmware update but one can only hope but I think despite that the all day microphone or sorry not all day battery life and the lovely lovely microphones are something that make it a still a good selling points and again the actives handle across genres a little better so the sound signature might be more palatable for those as well so i think that the actives will be my recommendation for this if you really like the look and feel of the 75 t's especially in the beige i get it I mean, I like them too, but if you really want a headphone that's going to be your daily driver for work, for play, for working out, then the 75T actives are going to be a safer bet. And I think that you'll be happy with them, especially if you don't require the active noise cancelling. Um, there will be some other times where I'll be looking at other headphones um, rel related to the active noise cancelling, but I'm still waiting for them to come through. But if you guys enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help the channel out, but it also helps me understand what you guys like, as well as what you want to see on the channel going forward. I'm always looking for suggestions to infuse into my life, and especially when it comes to tech. So if you want to direct the ch where the channel goes and what I'm going to review, definitely leave a comment to help me understand what you, what's important to you and what I can play around with. Um, I do appreciate the new subscribers I've gotten. Um, it's been fun getting these out a little bit more regularly. I know I had, the corona did kind of throw my schedule off a little bit, but I am trying to stay consistent and make sure I get you guys uh, at least every week, if not two. So hopefully we can continue this. I'm blocked from traveling, so hopefully you'll see me in my face a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, I will have a review for you shortly. Um, Next review will be sort of Corona related, but it, it is something to that is an interesting piece of tech, especially as germs become an issue going forward. So stay tuned for that, uh, hopefully soon. I just have to wait for everything to incubate and I'll have a new video for you. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, it's been so good. So everyone, please respect the social distancing, but do get out every now and then to you know, get some fresh air. But Stay safe. As always, appreciate you. Later.